United Airlines flight UA1213 from Chicago O'Hare to San Francisco on Tuesday the 6th of July 2018 on a Boeing 757-300 scheduled to depart at 3.50pm and flight time 4 hours 34 minutes. This is the first of three flights but I don't have any footage of the check-in, security, boarding or on the plane because one of my cameras packed a bit of a sad. We departed from gate C23 which is at concourse C. To get there you have to walk under the apron via this totally awesome underground walkway. It's one of my favourite airport things. So I get to gate C23 and there's no sign of my plane. So I watch a few comings and goings and then I go grab something to eat because I know I'm unlikely to get any food on this next flight. So not until the flight after, in about six hours. I was at the gate in time to watch my inbound aircraft. It arrived 51 minutes late which led to us leaving 60 minutes late. We did make most of that up in the air though. Through the strangeness of airline loyalty programs, I boarded in group two because of my Star Alliance Gold status. However, because I'm nobody to United, I was sitting in 41F, three rows from the back, which means I get a great view of the baggage loading. And then I saw my own bag get loaded. Good start, bag. You only have two more planes to get on to and you'll get home with me. Chicago is one of the busiest airports in the world and there's always plenty to see out the window. Please review the safety card located at your seat and follow along with your... O'Hare has seven runways. We depart from gate 23C and taxi up to runway 9R and we take off towards the east. O'Hare is the second busiest airport in the world by the number of takeoffs and landings and the sixth busiest by the number of passengers, which means there is a lot to see out the window. This plane held for us to taxi past them, possibly because we're running 20 minutes later than they are. But maybe not. I, I never know how aircraft movements really work. Here we are on runway 9R, going to take off. After takeoff, we performed two left hand turns and then tracked generally westwards out towards San Francisco. As I mentioned earlier, I don't have any internal footage from this flight. This snack footage is from a week previously on UA2155 from Houston to Chicago, but the snack was exactly the same on this flight. There was tea, coffee, water, and a selection of soft drinks. There were also pretzel twists, which are like mini pretzels, and they were yum. And there were two snack services through the flight, which was quite cool. The snack on this flight gets exactly the same as the snack in that flight. Six out of 10. Yeah, nice one, United. Okay, onto the plane. This plane, registration N77865, is a Boeing 757-300. It took its first flight in February 2002, making it 16 and a half years old when I took this flight. It started its life with American Trans Air and was configured with 247 economy class seats. American Trans Air went bust in 2003 and was resuscitated as ATA Airlines. And this plane transferred across. Then when ATA went bust for the second time, in 2006, this aircraft was taken over by Continental. In 2010, Continental United merged and this plane became part of United's fleet. United have this plane configured with 24 business class seats and 189 economy seats. And as mentioned before, I was way down the back in seat 41F. Oh, here we are over Omaha, Nebraska. Hello, Omaha.
It was at this point that the plane started to feel really warm and it stayed quite hot for the rest of the trip. I opened the air vents in the overhead but it didn't seem to really make a lot of difference. I don't know if it was just the back of the plane or what but it was warm. For in-flight entertainment you can use your portable device to the in-flight Wi-Fi and you can watch movies and TV shows and stuff which was fine as long as you knew about it beforehand and it downloaded the app. So a 16 year old plane with a 12 year old fit out. Everything worked and nothing was broken but it was a little bit worn and tired. I give this plane 6 out of 10. You're not too shabby United. The views as we flew west were absolutely stunning. I have to say it was a little bit tricky to capture how beautiful the panoramas were with the camera but I tried my best so here's a few shots. And then I got super excited because I saw the Crescent Moon Solar Energy Project. 110 megawatts of net thermal solar power with 1.1 gigawatt hours of energy storage. It's a super awesome idea. But it never quite lived up to its promise and it hasn't actually produced any power since April 2019 which is after this flight was taken but before now. Oh, look at that. And now, a few words from our pilot. Folks, as promised for the flight deck, we are 28 minutes from touchdown. We'll be arriving at gate 8080, so a quick taxi in. Uh, we had to go up into the test stream to get above that weather back in Colorado and Utah, so we dropped off a few minutes. As far as uh, our touchdown time, we are now, give me an exact time here. 13 minutes after our scheduled touchdown time, so not too bad. Should get you uh, probably about 10 minutes late to the gate. Again, go to the top of the jetway, the agents in there will point you in the proper direction. 82 degrees in uh, San Francisco, about a 20, 23 knot wind down the runway, 10 miles visibility, just some high clouds. Do appreciate you flying with us. Thank you for your patience on the late arrival. As I said, we got you here about 10 minutes behind schedule. Uh, that should do it. Uh, one last thing, when the uh, seatbelt sign comes on, it'll be on for the last time, so please remain seated when the seatbelt's fast until we pull into the gate. Thanks again, folks, we'll talk to you at the gate. So after trekking west, we turned to the northwest and came in on runway 28R. We then taxied over to Terminal F and parked up at gate 80, which is now gate F11. Our approach was reasonably smooth but our landing was a little bit bumpy. This footage somewhat over dramatises it though I apologise for that. For some reason image stabilisation wasn't on on my camera. I've tried to fix it in post but it still looks a bit rough. I mean it was a bit rough, it just wasn't that bad. So let's sum up as we taxi. A snack of mini pretzels, soft drinks and water got a 6. The plane, which is reasonably old and had a refit quite a while ago, also got a 6. That works out to 6 out of 10. That's a bit above average. That's fine United, just fine. Being in row 41 I had a wee while to wait after we parked up at the gate. So I did a little bit of plane spotting. Then I had 3 hours to wander about 200 metres through the terminal so I spent that time talking my way into getting a business upgrade in my next leg. Oh I hope I make that video sometime. Please subscribe and watch every single video we ever make.